You have to come to terms what has happened to you in your life because it's toxic for you to hold on to this mentality. What's the mentality? Well, emotional walled off rejection and apathy towards an emotional rebirth and a new beginning in love. Hey there, Taurus. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on with you guys? Are you ready for a check-in, a check-up, a check-out? Let's see what's going on for Taurus these days, huh? What it is that perhaps you could be going through or perhaps what it is is yet to come in your immediate future. I am a Taurus sun and Pisces moon, Pisces rising and Pisces Venus, but I am a Taurus sun. Taurus is my front man, right? It's been a minute. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope the new year is treating you well. We're coming up on Taurus season, right? Me personally, April 21st, right? The cusp there of Aries, but nevertheless, a Taurus sun. Right on. Well, we're going to dive into this and we are going to throw down some cards for Taurus because it's been a good six weeks. And as you know, if you are a subscriber to this channel, and if you are, welcome back. Thanks for being a part of the tribe here, Taurus tribe. If you are a uh, subscriber to this channel, you will know that I come in about every six weeks or so just to give a check up and a check in and see what's going on. Um, I'm not a huge YouTube poster, so if you do like what you're about to see in this video, make sure that you subscribe because I'm not here very often. I mostly read for Taurus and Pisces for obvious reasons, right? I look forward to this just like you guys do. The tarot is rooted in astrology, which means that if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you, and it will affect the house that you have Taurus in, okay? All right, and that is something that you're just going to have to learn on your own. You can Google it all over the place, all right? Anywho, come on in, pull up a chair, snuggle up, put your feet up, put your earbuds in, cast it up on the big screen if you want to, get you something to snack on, something to drink, something to smoke, and let's throw down some cards for Taurus, okay? It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. And people say oftentimes, why 15? Because 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 is the number of communication. And that's what I want to pull from these cards is communication, right? From the powers that be to us, okay? So it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I will confuse the heck out of you as I go back and clarify it. Um, but I will sew together a story and I will read it in, in its entirety to you, okay? If the clarification process gets too long, too in-depth, or too complicated, I will simply fast forward through that spot and we will pick up right where we leave off, okay? All right. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? All right, you guys, let's do this. Let's get ready. Ready? You hunkered down? Let's go. Give me a minute to channel and get focused and we'll begin. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus and what do they need to know? What's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please direct Taurus in the, in the path that is for their best purpose. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel throughout this entire reading to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Please give me the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the understanding to explain what it is you're going to say in these cards. Spirit, Tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top spirit. What is it that you want Taurus to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Tell me where the stopping... Okay. Tell me where the stopping point is, please, for Taurus. I think it's right there. All right. Let's cut these cards three times and see what we get. Let's go. I gotta wait for that pull, right? Let's go. One, two, 
and three. A little messy, but nevertheless, the way they want to be seen. Two and three. Bottom of the deck that is strength. It's overcoming something, becoming strong and courageous. All right. First card out the box. Let me get them where you guys can see them thoroughly and completely up here in this corner right here. I can't, y'all are going to have to watch it on an angle because I can't tilt it for me. So the world first card out, boom, right out the box. This is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. The king of pentacles. I happen to pin Taurus to this card. Some people say it's Capricorn, but I don't care what other people say because this is my show and this is how I read. And this is the King of Pentacles, which represents Taurus. Okay, so this is success. It is standing in your power. Sometimes it is about a commitment of some sort. The Hierophant, look at that. This is the card of Taurus. It's commitment, it's obligation, it's a belief system. Ooh, look at that, the Ace of Cups. New love somehow. The moon, struggle in the intuition. Struggle in the subconscious. The, sub, the subconscious struggle is always between that which we already know and that which our ego is trying to talk us out of, okay? Four of Pentacles in reverse, self-protection, greed, materialism. Judgment in reverse, um, self-doubt, deciding to not decide, bad decisions. The Princess of Wands in reverse, um, this is pessimism, a lack of pep in the step. Five of Swords in the center of the spread, talking about one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, look at that. All right, well, I laid out six, and I don't know why I did that, because I never ever do that. Um, so we are going to transfer this one to the beginning of this row. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. You'll see in a second. Okay. So the princess of pentacles in reverse pessimist, uh, no, an inability to manifest. Sometimes it's immediate short-term focus. The seven of cups in reverse. This is diversionary tactics. The 10 of cups in reverse, um, broken feelings, broken home, five of wands, conflict, the rooted in competition, the six of wands, victory, progress, and success. And then we have the four of cups in reverse, which is akin to this four of pentacles in reverse. This is apathy or rejection. Seven of swords in reverse, possibly breaking free from a futile mindset. Nine of wands in reverse, um, overwhelmed, giving up. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration. The Three of Wands in reverse. Obstacles to the long-term goals. Two of Swords in reverse. Crossroads that maybe you don't even know that you're at. King of Cups in reverse. Emotional volatility. Five of Pentacles left out in the cold. Prince of Swords in reverse. A need to pull your thoughts together. Ten of Swords, grief, sorrow, pain, crisis. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. To the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Fool in reverse, to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Wands, to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance in reverse, the Alchemist in reverse, the Star in reverse, the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups in reverse, Death in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles to the High Priestess in reverse, the Ace of Wands, the Devil in reverse, the Princess of Swords, the Prince of Wands. And now we're just repeating here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you know, we could just take all these cards. Honestly, we could, but we're going to stop with that Prince of Wands right there. All right. What do you need to know about me before we dive into this whole clarification process? I have a tendency to be irreverent. If that bothers you, you're going to want to go ahead and leave. Okay, just go. You want to hear about it? Just go. I will smoke my vape on camera. And if you don't like that, if it offends you in some way, just go. Just leave just like you would do in any other situation where things are going on that make you feel uncomfortable. Just remove yourself from the situation, 
Okay. All right, you guys, let's dive into this and see what this is all about. I am super curious. Um, super curious. Let's see. We're going to use the handy dandy rider weight to clarify. All right. Let's just give them a good little shuffle here. Good little shuffle. Good little shuffle. Okay. All right, Spirit. So a cycle needs to end. It's ready to end. The universe is saying it's time to end it. What is this cycle with the world? What is this cycle with the world card right here? What is the cycle with the world? What is this? What is this? What is this cycle with the world? The Five of Swords. Defeat. Conflict. The King of Pentacles. Who is this? Is this King of Pentacles Taurus? Or does this King of Pentacles represent someone else? So Three of Cups in Reverse, a third party situation, stifled creativity judgment, um, some kind of conscious cognitive decision, and the Ten of Swords talking about pain, crisis, betrayal. To the Hierophant. Ooh, the devil on top of that. That's an attachment. That's a restriction to your growth and toxic to your life. Tell me about this Hierophant right here, please. What is the Hierophant? This commitment. Is this Taurus's belief system? The Fool in Reverse and the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Foolish, naive, reckless, a lack of teamwork and collaboration. So I think the Hierophant is your belief system, Taurus. I do. I do. I do. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, this emotional rebirth right here. Well, those all popped out. Let's just see what this is. Page of Swords in Reverse, All Talk, No Action, Undelivered Promises, The Queen of Cups, Pulling Yourself Together, and The Four of Pentacles in Reverse, Self-Protection, and The Moon Follows It, which is the struggle in the subconscious. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? First card out of the box is the world, Major Arcana, the world. This is saying that there is a need for some critical self-analysis so you can close out a cycle of your life and carry on into a new unwritten chapter, okay? It is time for a cycle to close. The King of Pentacles. This is, I do believe, spirit indicating to you that they are trying to bring into your life the perfect match for you, the perfect match for you. Okay. The Hierophant, this is commitment, marriage, long-term relationships, and the Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. That's what they say straight up. And then it's followed by the moon, which indicates that you have some kind of internal struggle that you need to come to terms with. Okay. The world what is the cycle that needs to end? Well, the five of swords, conflict, defeat, win at all costs. And I really think it's the win at all costs mentality. And I'll explain that to you in just a second. The nine of pentacles comes on top of it and talks about independence, self-sufficiency. It also talks about bringing things to a culmination. But this independence and self-sufficiency right here is representative of of the place that you are at because your mentality is the five of swords, win at all costs. What's the win at all costs mentality? Well, if I remain single and independent, standing in my own power, I will not be vulnerable to um, rejection. I will not be vulnerable to... Rejection. That's what it is. Rejection. When at all costs, protecting myself against rejection. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles to the Three of Cups in reverse. Stifled creativity. This King of Pentacles represents you. Okay? It represents you 
standing in your power. It represents you being probably focused on life, work, your own, your own well-being and your own environment. Okay. Um, remember, I said a while ago that this King of Pentacles to the Hierophant to the Ace of Cups is spirit trying to bring your perfect match into your life. And I still stand by that. But this King of Pentacles also represents you. Okay. To the Three of Cups in reverse, third party situation. Perhaps um, you have been through a third party situation where someone has cheated on you. And maybe that's why you are... Um, so independent and self-sufficient and and unwilling to be vulnerable in a situation but the three of cups in reverse talks to me more about stifled creativity because there is a, a there is a third party situation what is that it's you your self-protection and what spirit is trying to bring into your world okay judgment conscious cognitive decision to do what Ten of Swords, to get out of the pain in your mind, okay? It's not pain in the chest anymore. It's pain in the mind to get out of betrayal, deception, and um, fuckery, right? To, to, to get out of it. Judgment talks about a conscious cognitive decision. Why? The devil, because this Ten of Swords that you're holding on to um, is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, and it is toxic to your life to the four of cups in reverse. This is apathy and rejection. You being apathetic and rejecting any kind of, uh, any kind of, of vulnerability is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and it's toxic to your life. I also want to point out that the devil being toxicity to the four of cups in reverse being apathy says that perhaps you don't realize this or see this about yourself. Okay. The Hierophant, the card of Taurus, it represents your core belief system. It represents what you think about yourself. The Hierophant is representing here your belief system, okay? To the Fool in Reverse, Major Arcana, clarifying Major Arcana says, it is foolish of you to adhere to a belief system that keeps you sequestered in an energy of independence, self-sufficiency, and rejection, okay? What are you rejecting? You are rejecting being vulnerable, in any kind of love situation to the three of pentacles in reverse it is foolish naive and reckless to believe that there can't be any kind of teamwork and collaboration for you to believe that there will always be some kind of of bad ending to a good situation okay now let's talk about the hierophant implying some kind of commitment Taurus, commitment, new love, okay? If this is referring to commitment, the fool in reverse. See, this is a general reading. I don't know who I'm reading for or why, so it's really hard for me to have context or make sense of it, right? The only way to know your real story is to have your cards read. So the Hierophant representing commitment in your life, the fool in reverse saying it is foolish of you, to not engage in commitment and keep yourself in an apathetic, walled off, not interested energy. Why? Ace of Cups. Because there is new love in front of you. There is new love ahead of you. Ace of Cups also represents an emotional rebirth, which is what needs to happen here if you are going to open yourself up and be receptive to this new love that could be coming into your life. The moon, struggling with the subconscious, the internal struggle between what you know to be true and your life experiences being the ego trying to talk you out of it, okay? It's the constant struggle of... God, I know, I know, I know, I know I want new love. 
I know I need to be vulnerable and open to it, but everything else coming and saying, why would you do that ever again? Why would you ever make yourself vulnerable ever, ever again after what you've gone through in relationships? Uh-uh, you need to wall that off. You need to be apathetic and you need to reject any kind of advances that come from anybody because you just don't want to go through that again. And the soul says, but I want love. I want relationship. I need some kind of interaction or companionship and everything else coming back in and saying, remember what happened last time you did that? Remember what happened? Remember what happened? Remember what happened? That's the struggle of the moon card. Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse is all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. See, you keep talking yourself out of this in the subconscious. Queen of Cups says you need to get straight with yourself. You need to be honest and fair with yourself and your emotions. And you need to pull yourself into an emotionally gathered place, okay, where you can be in a state of emotional control, balance, and security. That is how you are going to pull yourself out of this apathetic, disinterested state of being so spirit can bring to you the desires of your heart, which these cards tell me is new love. Four of pentacles in reverse, self-protection, right? Queen of Cups is the complete opposite of self-protection. She is in a place where she is secure in her emotions, her identity, her understanding of love and life. But Taurus is in a state of self-protection. Ace of Wands, Spirit says there's an inspired, passionate new beginning trying to take root in your life if you will just give it the opportunity to do so. Death in reverse. What is required of you? Well, a personal transformation. A personal transformation from what? From being walled off, isolated, independent. Don't need no man. Don't need no woman. Don't want any love in my life because every experience I've ever had with love goes to shit. And then I'm vulnerable and I get hurt and I would just rather not. Thank you very much. Death in Reverse talks about a personal transformation and ending a change and a transformation to what's going on inside of you, to the sun. So spirit can lead you to happiness, success, and vitality in your life, to the Ten of Cups. So they can bring you into a state of emotional fulfillment so they can meet your needs. Because when your needs are met, all of them, all four elements of human nature being um, air, water, fire, and earth, right? All four of those make up the human being, right? Air is everything in your mind. Um, water is everything in your emotions. Fire is everything that drives you on the inside. And earth is your sense of security and well-being. They need you to be emotionally fulfilled so you can do what it, what you came here to do in the first place. If you're walking around all off kilter and half empty, in a certain aspect of the elemental nature of the human being, you're not balanced. And when you're not balanced, you can't function properly. True. Spirit with the sun says, happiness, success, and vitality to the Ten of Cups. We are trying to lead you with this new phase, this new cycle of your life. We are going to lead you to a great deal of emotional fulfillment, but you have to participate. You have to make a conscious cognitive decision to come to terms with what has happened to you in your life, whether it's a relationship or your parents. Okay, you have to come to terms what has happened to you in your life because it's toxic for you to hold on to this mentality. What's the mentality? Well, emotional walled off rejection and apathy towards an emotional rebirth and a new beginning in love. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Again, self-protection, rejection right? Protecting yourself. Judgment in reverse comes after this and talks about your self-doubt. Lots of self-doubt. If you have been cheated on, that destroys your self-confidence, right? If you haven't been cheated on in this third-party situation that is is stuck in your craw, as we would say in the South, or in the back of your mind, this is this is third party interference being your own mind versus the direction that spirit's trying to take you in your relationship with your higher power. 
Judgment in reverse is also deciding to not decide is a bad decision. Why is it a bad decision? Well, because spirit's trying to turn over a cycle in your life and point you in the direction of happiness, success, and vitality. Knight of Pentacles says that you're caught up in routine. Same old, same old, right? Um, not interested, not exposing yourself, not reciprocating any kind of advances from anyone or anything to the chariot. Spirit says it is time to put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to finally get over this hump in your life so the door can be open so the cycle can close so you can move into your future because staying here by yourself in a sense of walled off self-protection is not in your best interest okay princess of wands in reverse in the center of the reading this is a card about being pessimistic. It's about not having pep in your step, not having desire. It's about being pessimistic. Ace of Swords says it's time to get straight in your mind. It's time to get, this is all in your mind, okay? It's all in your head. Your feelings may have been hurt. Your composition may have been thrown off balance, but you're holding on to it in your mind, okay? Where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. That is lesson number one of life in the major arcana. It's manifestation of the magician. Where your thoughts go, your reality becomes. Where's your thoughts now? Mm -mm, none of it. Don't want any of it. Not, mm -mm, nope, not touching it with a 10-foot pole. Don't want any of it. The Ace of Swords says it's time to reframe the way that you're thinking about this past situation, current situation, your future, your life. It is time to gain some mental clarity so you can have some triumphant success and push out of this stagnant cycle that you're in. Temperance comes on top of this and talks about healing. You see in this card, she is she's balancing her emotions. She's shifting water from one chalice to another right? She has her foot in the emotions of the water. She has her foot on, er on the earth, which is her stability and her structure, okay? So what this is saying is that there is a need for healing. There is a need to balance yourself out so you can heal and move forward, Five of Swords. What needs to be balanced? Same Five of Swords is up there. The win at all costs. I will not engage. I will protect myself. I will not share anything that I have going on in my life because if I do, I stand the chance of, of experiencing pain. To the Seven of Wands in reverse. This is overwhelmed and giving up. And that's what this is about right here, being overwhelmed with past situations and circumstances, whether it's a love relationship or your parents, okay? You, 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 you are overwhelmed and you have given up on the prospect of being emotionally fulfilled in a relationship with another human being. Princess of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to manifest. Why? Eight of Wands in reverse, because you're not taking any action to the Queen of Swords, just like this Ace of Swords right here. It is time to get control of your thoughts and to snap to it. The Queen of Swords is logical. She's she's She checks her emotions. She makes decisions in her life based on logic and responsibility. And what this is saying is that it is time to posture as the Queen of Swords and get your mind under control so all of the other elements can flow behind you. What is the first key to manifesting? Well, your mind, thinking about things. We can't manifest anything in our life until we begin to think about it. When we think about it, we begin to have some inspiration about it. When we have inspiration about it, it goes to our emotions and it begins to gel in our emotions and then it becomes part of our personal constitution in the earth energy. Queen of Swords says it's time to get your mind straight so you can begin to manifest the reality that these cards say you truly do want, which is a new beginning in love, a committed relationship with someone that is a counterpart to you. But you can't do that till you get your mind together. 
seven of cups in reverse because you are in literally the thick of diversionary tactics. You are avoiding any kind, whoever this is resonating with, you are avoiding any kind of emotional attachment or interaction to the hangman in reverse. You are resistant. You are resisting. You are resistant and you are apathetic to any kind of new emotional vulnerability, okay? Why is all this happening? Ten of Cups in reverse. Broken home, broken family, broken feelings, broken dreams, just broken stuff, okay? That is why you are apathetic and refusing to participate. Ten of Pentacles. This is the foundation that you wish to build in a relationship that up to this point you have been unsuccessful to obtain. Knight of Cups in reverse. Therefore, your motive operandum and your go-to is it's just not worth investing anything emotionally. It's just, oops, hold on, I have a uh, an alarm here. I have a reading in 30 minutes. Um, the Knight of Cups in reverse is unrealistic to continue to invest emotions. That's how you feel about things. Two of Cups in reverse. Because I've had broken relationships. I've had broken childhood. I have been, I have just broken, broken relationships to the King of Swords, just like this Queen of Swords right here. You have to get your mind straight in order to begin to manifest what it is you truly want in your life. And these cards say, again, that you want new love in your life. The Five of Wands, conflicted all over the place, conflicted on the inside, internally conflicted. The Five of Wands is also rooted in the word competition, right? And perhaps that's where the root of all of this comes. Maybe... Maybe you just don't want to deal. Maybe you just don't want to deal with the threat. Maybe you just don't believe in love anymore. And you don't want to engage because there's always the threat that someone's going to cheat on you or to throw away what it is that you've given to them. Hmm. to the lovers. This is alignment with source, alignment with spirit. It's you being on the right path, going in the right direction. The lovers is what's trying to come into your life. A love relationship is trying to come into your life, but you've been conf you're, you're conflicted internally because these cards tell me whoever I'm talking to has not had success. Success, the six of wands, victory, progress and success. Spirit's trying to point you in that direction. They're trying to give you the roadmap to have success. What is that? It's coming to terms with this devil. Whatever this is, this attachment that is restricting your growth, that's toxic to your life, whether it's a human being, whether it's yourself, whether it's your own belief system, which I believe that it is, you have to come to terms with that in order to achieve the success that you truly want. Four of Swords. The guy in this card is coming out of the Three of Swords. He's coming out of grief and sorrow and pain and rejection and fear. And he's coming to terms with it. He's getting his mind straight in the Four of Swords because four is the number of stability. Swords is your mind. Okay? So he's coming to terms with his mind. And that's what Spirit is saying right here. In order for you to have victory, progress, and success in your life, you have to come to terms with the Three of Swords first, which was the grief, the sorrow, and the pain. Two of Pentacles says prioritize this. Make this as a priority so you can balance out the deficiencies in the other areas of your life. Four of Cups in reverse. What is that area? Well, it is your apathy and your rejection to any kind of emotional engagement to the Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold, leaving it alone, not engaging. You were left out in the cold. You left them out in the cold, whatever the situation is. But it's a state of insecurity to the Seven of Swords in reverse. 
It is time to leave behind a futile mindset that is rooted in some kind of betrayal or deception. Fuckery. The nine of wands in reverse. Um, it's futile. It's time to break free from a futile mindset. Nine of wands in reverse. And stop not fighting. Okay? The nine of wands in the upright is about resilience, persistence, pushing through. Okay? The nine of wands in reverse is about giving up. You've given up on the three of pentacles that there can be teamwork and collaboration and someone who appreciates you and what you bring to the table to the three of wands in reverse. You giving up on the possibility that there could be a person for you out there is obstacles to your long-term goals. Three of Wands in reverse is also a lack of foresight. What's the lack of foresight? Well, you have an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, which is your mindset about love and relationships. Okay? What you don't see coming, the lack of foresight, is that spirit is bringing someone into your life that a new chapter of your life is to be written with. But because of your apathy and your lack of participation in healing yourself, spirit can't bring this into your life. That's why they're telling you with the world card, this cycle needs to close so we can do what we need to do. Two of swords in reverse. You're at a crossroads and you don't even realize it. <laughs> at a crossroads and you don't even realize it. What's the crossroads? Spirit's trying to bring new love into your life. They are. But you're resistant. That's the crossroads. King of Cups in reverse. Emotional volatility. Five of Pentacles. Rejection. Insecurity. Left out in the cold. Leaving it out in the cold. Don't want anything to do with it. Thank you, but no thank you. Prince of Swords in reverse. It's time to bring your thoughts together. Your thoughts are not where they need to be right now. Why are they not where they need to be? Because Spirit's trying to do something in your life and your mind is not cooperating. Ten of Swords, because it's rooted in pain and sorrow and grief and crisis. Endings. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you will continue to get what you've always gotten. True. If you're cool with the way that your life is right now, then by all means, keep at it. But if you want change in your life, this is the roadmap to do it. Hermit, Spirit says, sit with me and let's talk about some things. Sit with me and let's do some soul searching and some introspection. What are we going to talk about? Well, if you sit with spirit and you truly do some soul searching and some introspection, first and foremost, they're going to illuminate the path for you. First and foremost, they're going to illuminate the path for you. They are going to show you exactly what it is about you, you and your situation. This is general, but your higher power will guide you in the direction of your best and highest good. If you ask them to, you have to ask them. You have to allow them to work in your life and you have to get the ego out of the way. See, all of this is rooted in ego. What happened to you? Well, your ego got stung. Why? Well, somebody cheated on you. You got rejected. You got divorced. Whatever the whole situation is, but the ego is ruling the mind and saying, I am not participating in this anymore because I am in a state of self-preservation and self-protection. The hermit says, let's talk about this. Queen of Cups in reverse. Let's talk about your emotional insecurities. To the Queen of Swords in reverse. Let's talk about your saltiness. To the King of Swords in reverse. Let's talk about your lack of accountability for your own personal journey. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Let's talk about your lack of accountability for your own personal journey. Why? Well, because you're walled off. And you can't go through life emotionally walled off. The lovers in reverse. Let's talk about your misaligned relationships. Let's talk about why they didn't work out in the first place. Let's get to the root of things. That's what you're going to find out in the hermit energy. Eight of cups in reverse. Let's talk about your hopelessness. Let's talk about your disappointment in relationships. To the fool in reverse. Let's talk about how you will be the fool if you don't come to terms with this, 
Let's talk about your inability to manifest a new beginning and a new journey in your life that these cards, again, say that you very much want, but you're unwilling to participate in it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. How are you ever going to be a Queen of Pentacles to a King of Pentacles or vice versa if, you, if, if, if you're not open and receptive? Four of Wands. Spirit wants to bring you into a state of peace and contentment, foundation and structure in a relationship. To the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is lost opportunity. What you're investing in now is not going to pay off because you're investing in your own e emotional hijacking. Ace of Pentacles in reverse is lost opportunity. You're going to miss this if you don't quickly, very quickly get yourself together. Temperance in reverse. If you remain imbalanced and unhealed, you cannot engage in this. The Alchemist in reverse. Alchemist in reverse talks about your potential. The Alchemist in Reverse talks about an inability to manifest, an inability to manifest your true potential. Why? Because your mind is not straight. The Star in Reverse. And because your mind is not straight, you can't manifest your potential, and it is unpurposeful in your life. It's also about being disconnected from the direction that Spirit's trying to lead you. The star is about an understanding that there is a universal intelligence that we don't always understand, but it's always leading us in the direction of our best and highest good. And you are disconnected from the direction that Spirit is trying to lead you because you have an inability to manifest your full potential because your mind is stopping your manifestation. Get your mind straight, and everything else will fall in line. The Six of Cups. This is the past. Your past. Five of Cups in reverse says move on from it. Whether this past is your childhood, your memories, your parents, your life, relationships, husbands, wives, divorces, pain. Whatever this is for you, Five of Cups in reverse says it is time to move on from loss, regret, sorrow, disappointment, or bereavement. Death in reverse again. It is time for a personal transformation. Eight of Swords in reverse. How do you get this? With a new perspective. Eight of Swords, current state of being, all tied up in your mind in fear. And I'm here to tell you that the ego rules fear. When I say ego, I don't mean big houses and fancy cars. Ego is human nature. We're born into the ego. We choose spirituality. This is the state of your being right now. If you're all wrapped up in your minds, in your mind, in the eight of swords, how is it that you're going to manifest your future? You can't. You're paralyzed. In the reverse, it's about a new perspective, personal transformation, moving on, new perspectives to the Eight of Pentacles, a new perspective that is going to allow you to engage, work, build, and compound your lessons from the past in a positive momentum forward. So you can compound your lessons from the past and just let them build up and build up and build up inside of you. Or you can compound your lessons from the past in a kinetic energy. This guy is in a kinetic energy. He's actually doing something. He's not stagnated compounding all of these lessons inside of himself. He is kinetically compounding all of his past experiences to build better and bigger and stronger for his future. That's what this new perspective is going to do for you. It's going to allow you to reevaluate what has happened in your past, pinpoint why it is that you have your emotional woundings and blockages, and push forward to build something strong out of them instead of allowing them to be your weakness. Personal reading. It's the only way. The high priestess in reverse. This is you ignoring your intuition. It's you ignoring your higher power. It's just like the star in reverse. It's you not being in touch with where spirit is trying to lead you. Your intuition, your guts, 
are always spirit trying to lead you in the direction that you should go. And right now you're closed down and closed off from that. To the Ace of Wands, there is an inspired, passionate new beginning in your future. A new breath of fresh air is waiting for you right around the corner. Devil in reverse, but you have to release your limiting beliefs first. You have to detach yourself from your toxic thinking to the Princess of Swords and begin to think in a new direction so you are open to receive and give communications. Prince of Wands, so you can take inspired action when inspired action is taken towards you. To the Page of Wands, explore and discover what it is the hang-up is here for you. Come to terms with it and put it to rest so you can have new fire under your feet to the world. And that will lead you to the closure of your current cycle in your mind and release you into a brand new cycle of your life, a brand new chapter of your life, a blank slate by which to rewrite your story because you are going to rewire the way that you think about yourself, your life, and your relationships. And I'm here to tell you that it all comes back to you, Taurus. It's not everybody else. It's not how you've been screwed over. It's not what people have done to you, the, sh the, 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 the shady deck of cards that you got dealt as a child. It's not about any of that. It's about you and the way that you deal with the things that have happened to you in your life. You can either let this shit fester inside of you and grow like a cancer, or you can air it out, deal with it, and push forward using what you've learned to build your future. So your only two options. Crossroads. You can either stay where you are or you can move forward. Those are your only two options. Your mind manifests your reality. Where your thoughts go, your life will follow. And your thoughts right now are no. Not interested, not looking for it, don't want it, I'm good on my own, don't want anything to do with any of it. When in fact, Spirit is saying, it is part of your journey, it is part of, of your balancing out for you to be emotionally fulfilled in some kind of a relationship. Could this be family, friends? Yeah, could it be love? Absolutely. But spirit needs you to be balanced, and right now you're unbalanced. And when you're unbalanced, you can't be of any use to anybody. You have to be balanced in order to build for the future. And that's what these cards are telling you. Fix your mind so you can manifest the reality that you want to see. And that's the story, Taurus. If you want me to read your cards, hit me up at the, the <laughs> I almost gave you the wrong website. If you want me to read your cards, hit me up at the gypsypsychic.com. Um, if it's not me, if you have any questions about any of this, get your cards read. I don't care who it's by as long as they are trustworthy and they read reversals. <laughs> kind of deck's no good without the reversals. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's not. All right, you guys. Namaste.